All right, guys, what's going on? What's cracking? Today, we're back with another video. I'm using a new camera today, so please bear with me. Uh, this is my first time using it. I'm trying to get all the bugs worked out, so hope uh, hope this works out. Uh, from the video, though, you can tell we're going to be working today. We are. Uh, uh, this is a German-based company, and they were kind enough to send me the tools you see here in front of me. Uh, they have a USA-based uh, headquarters, which makes it quite nice. So if you have any warranty issues or any problem of that nature, um, they handle it here in the US. You don't have to try to contact someone over in Germany, which I do like. Uh, most of their tools are also made in Germany. So in my opinion, when I look at tools, uh, there's a couple things I look at if they're American made, if they're German made, or if they're made in the United Kingdom. Those to me, those are the three big ones, right? So when I look at tools, I'm like, okay, if they're made in those three areas, I'm good with it. The fourth one for me, if it is made anywhere in Asia, you look at Taiwan. Chinese tools typically, for the most part, are hit or miss. Uh, the Taiwanese seem to really have gotten the quality control knocked down really, really well. Uh, for today, uh, I'm going to go over a couple of the tools they've sent me here, which has been their screwdrivers and a couple of their plier sets. Uh, I kind of go a little bit in review and show them the real big quality and the reason why I really like these tools. Uh, I played with them, I played around with them a little bit. And the screwdriver is by far my favorite thing. I do like their uh, pliers and their side cutters here, but these, these screwdrivers are, well, let me just show you. Okay, first off, guys, just looking at them, they look cool, right? I love the purple color to these. Uh, these are actually made in Germany also. These are very, very, very high quality. Uh, they have this, what they call their soft grip finish. Like, ah, I wish I could explain a little bit better, but it's to give you grip. So say you are working in an oily situation like I do here in the garage. You're working in an oily situation. This grip is to keep you from your hand slipping. Uh, I'll show you a little bit more in depth here once we switch over. I'm gonna show you some of my Craftsman tool, um, the benefit of this. It is giving a little bit of grit off the little first bit here, but my understanding is that does wear away. It's just like anything, it's a new tool. There has a little bit of grime left over, I shouldn't say grime, but a little bit of residue left over. Striking cap, because if we're gonna be honest, people use screwdrivers all the time and we're always beating on the end of them, especially the flatheads here. So these are quite impressive. Uh, here, could I get this up a little bit here. This is a PH3, which is a Phillips head three. Uh, they call it the, mi or the micro finish. Let's see if you guys can see that in there. And it has almost a, a rough leathery finish. It's hard to, almost like a suede finish. It's very, very neat. Um, I do like it. It is hardened tool steel. Uh, comparing these to my American made Craftsman, these blow it out of the water by far, which I'll show you here. I do like the hex here. So if you have a situation where you're trying to get something, get that little bit of extra torque, this allows you to do it. So you can be pressing on the back, turning it on the hex and really break that loose if need be. I do like this a lot. Again, when it comes to flathead guys, it, it's a flathead. I very rarely use these, but when I do, I use them as something to strike with. So the fact that it has a striking end, they, they know what you're gonna use it for. I, I love that and I love that they don't hide it. Uh, we have makes a great, great product. I really, really do like is again, I love that it's all marked up. And if you can see here, see if it'll zoom in for me there, guys. I flip it up upside down for you there. Made in Germany. I love it stamped right in there. Good quality stuff. Very, very impressed so far. Again, I'll compare that here shortly, uh, showing it to the craftsman. But let's move over to the side cutters and to the pliers. So this is a three pack here, guys. I'm also gonna give you part numbers for all this down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and click that link and make it real easy for y'all. Uh, side cutters, again, first off here, the grip that it comes with, I do like it and it does form in your hand really, really nice. I do like this. The one thing is with a side cutter, you're losing some area here because of the grip. Now, if you're an electrician or you're working some of that nature, these are ideal. Some situations I could see where this be cumbersome, but besides that, I really, really like these. I really, really like the, like I said, the grip of it. This is something I would use if I was truly a tradesman, uh, someone who's working in an industry where you're working on heavy duty material. This is what, this is what I'd be using, especially cutting wires. The journeyman pliers are extremely, extremely nice. These are. I'm gonna actually give these to my buddy, Tony, over at Stance Sagger Media to test out. He actually is an electrician by trade. And I wanna give these out to him and see what he thinks of them. Um, these just look extremely nice. I'm gonna use it for a couple projects around the house here. I gotta do some wiring, uh, but you got your side cutters built in, got a nice clamp open here, and then the teeth right here at the end. I mean, it's machined, so it's perfect. Usually in the cheaper Chinese stuff, which I'll show you guys here, um, you can see, like, it won't be finished perfect. It won't seal nice. And it'll, it'll have a gap, which obviously you want it to be able to pinch right at the very end, which it is. And I like that a lot. Very, very good quality. Um, the one thing I will say off the bat here, these, unlike the screwdrivers, are made in Taiwan, but they are very, very nice. Um, like I said before, 
It's not Chinese, it is Taiwanese. And I'm telling you now, the difference in build quality from the Taiwanese versus the Chinese stuff I've seen is night and day. Then we have the pliers, again, good set of pliers. Uh, I'll show you a difference here compared to some of the Chinese stuff I have now and I'm currently using. Again, has a side cutter built in, which I'd like. Uh, the nose, again, if you go down here, machine to the very end. So if you need to just barely grab some, you're gonna be able to get it. Again, when you see my Chinese stuff, it's got like a gaps at the end and it's all chewed up. It just just not very good. So let me go ahead and let's get those out here and let's compare the two. All right, so we'll go over the side cutters here first. These are a set of Chinese made, I'm not even sure who the company is, Companion. I've had these, I don't know, 15 years and this is what I always use. They've been okay. Um, I do, again, like I said there earlier, the one thing I do like versus these, see how it's nice and flat there, sorry. Nice and flat there to get to it. But the head's not as nice, like the fit and finish, it's hard to see here, but the fit and finish on this versus this is, two different worlds and it's always been this way from day one since i owned it but you know cost reason especially when i bought them 15 years ago i'm like ah, it's okay but now having these way 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 nicer again the grips on these are totally different this one i squeeze these i can literally bend these these i cannot like i can literally <laughs> i can't uh, i'm trying my best to get these to bend it's just a lot better quality that this is just a lot weaker yeah, I just can't. Uh, difference in the metal, tool steel versus non-tool steel. I mean, it's a totally different ball game there. Way, way nicer. The only, like I said, the only thing I would say is I do wish this was flat on this side just so I get closer, but I do see what the purpose of these versus these are. Uh, and they were designed for more heavy tradesman setup. Pliers, guys. Um, again, for me, they don't need to be flat, but much bigger opening here versus my cheap Chinese ones. Um, I see if I can get the tips here. See what I was talking about? Look at the tip on the Wea. Look at the tip on the Chinese one. Look at the gap. Can you see like the little, it's hard to get both of them to do it. You can see like a little air gap on this one. You can just, the bottom here you can, but at the top with these tips of these, look at the fit and finish on the left of the Wea versus the cheap Chinese one. Just night and day difference. Again, a quality tool versus the cheap tool. I, I know these are cheap. I paid next to nothing for these, but these are much better quality, but much better fit and finish. I'm just much happier with the way these work. Again, the handle design is much, much, much better. Fit finish, it's just, they're not even close. All right, American versus Germany. Now, these are original Craftsman, and if you see here, it says made in the USA. This is before they went overseas and, you know, got bought up by Lowe's. This is back in the good Craftsman days. But even still, it doesn't hold a candle to these. Um, if you look at the tip of this here, see how it's like, here it has like this weird serrated finish. A lot weaker when I bend it and stuff. Uh, no striking cap, as you can see. It doesn't even go the whole way through. You can see where it stops at. Where this, that metal goes the whole way through to the striking cap. Just totally different ball game. Again, I bet these were cheaper back in the day, but I know they weren't that cheap. Being American made, Craftsman stuff did uh, command a pretty price. Uh, yes, they were sold by Sears, but still being American made, they weren't the cheapest. Uh, again, the head here, I don't know what you would call that, but it's got like this serration the whole way across it, where the Wea, being a tool steel, is just smooth. Fit and finish is nicer. Again, has the hex, no hex. Much heavier, much nicer. The grip's much nicer. I mean, this being smooth, you get any oil in your hands and trying to grip this and turn, good luck. Um, this has more umph to it. Again, trying to bend this one, um, which actually I don't want to bend this one too much because I do use it, but I mean, I can literally, it's hard to show the deflection there, but I can literally feel it in my hands. Again, nice, nice craftsman tool. Uh, I use, I've used it a lot, actually I did bend it, dang it. Look at that, I put a little bit of bend in there, whatever. Yeah, I put a little too much effort in there, but that puts perspective. This is much, much nicer. Uh, my craftsmen have worked for me, but this is just night and day difference on the quality, how much more rigid it is. Uh, I feel like these will, should be my last set of pliers, or sorry, last set of screwdrivers or whatever I have to buy, uh, especially with the quality of them and having the striking end. All right, guys, last but not least, we've got the Phillips head here. Again, American-made versus the German-made. Uh, we look at the heads here. Let's see if I can get that focus there. German. Very, very nice. Much thicker material. I do sometimes like prefer the smooth board, depending on what you're doing. 90% of the time, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is much thicker. Again, the hex. No hex. Um, again, doesn't go the whole way through. No striking cap. This goes the whole way through to a striking cap. Better finish on the handle, don't lose grip. Where this, when it's as oily, it does lose grip. This is a new one too, so I wanted to make sure I showed this. So it wasn't like, well, Ryan, one of the old ones. No, this is, you can see it's the plastic's still good, everything to blue. Everything's pretty much nice and crisp. I've only used this a couple times. If you can see, it's already starting to like literally dent in here. 
or this. I've used it probably more than this already, and it doesn't even look like I've used it. I think there's a little bit on it there where I got like black residue from working on greasy stuff. I tried to use brake cleaner to get off, but you know how that works. But it hasn't caved in the side here at all. These are both Phillips 2s or PH2s. You can see here, spinning around, it should show it. Where was it at, Ryan? P2, made in the USA. And then again, this is made in Germany. Just zoom in there. Very, very nice stuff. I'm very, very impressed. Um, I would have no issues buying these and working with these again. Like these are extremely, extremely nice. Uh, it depends also too, I'm not sure if space is an issue. You can see the handle on these is a little bit wider. Um, these are heavier too versus these. This is, I don't know, maybe a couple ounces heavier than this, but nothing too crazy. Um, I don't know, I just like these all around, like the handle of it, like the way it feels, holding it like this if you need to screw on something versus this, it's just, the grip on this is my biggest thing, like I can hold it, and my hands are getting sweaty, like it's hot and humid here in Pennsylvania right now, it doesn't matter, if my, my hands are wet, it doesn't, this this handle, this grip does not carry the soft finish, I, I can't explain it, this micro finish is, I don't know, it's very, very nice. In my review guys, these guys get a big A plus from me, uh, fit and finish is great, customer service is great, I don't give every tool just A plus because of that either. It's just, I really, really like the tools. I really, really like the fit and finish. Uh, I really like the soft finish. Again, the only thing I would say is depending on what you're doing, these handles sticking out here might be a problem. Um, it also depends on what you're using for. For me in the automotive, doing stuff, working on Supras, working on cars in general, that would be the only time I could think that might be a problem. Um, but for the most part, these are always gonna come in handy, especially these flatheads with the striking ends. I'll be getting a lot of use out of these. Okay guys, thank you very much for tuning in today. If there's any questions, concerns you would like to know, check out down below. I've listed all these tools down in the description below. Made it very easy for y'all to click on the link and buy right now. Big shout out to Weehaw Yose for sending these over to me. And guys, thank you very much for tuning in and I'll talk to you later. Peace.